Hello, Brenda Smith Keene, Dancing for Him Ministries Level 2 student. Janine Dering is my AP. This is my April worship and activation. It is the worshiping from the Worshiping Bride by Scott Wesley Amos. And I am doing worshiping, worship as a lifestyle for this uh, study. Um, the, some of the things that came out to me in this chapter was that true worship is the life that we live. It's in the presence of God to the glory of God. Um, all life can be a service of worship every day. Life is an expression of worship. Some acts of worship are trusting God, even when we can't see the outcome. The perseverance of our faith, knowing that God is still in control, that He is on the throne, and He has our back. Um, a fruitful life. Fruitful life means that you're giving, you're kind, you're loving, you're helping others. That is glory to God. That is honoring Him when we have a fruitful life. The other things are being constant in prayer. Knowing and letting God work His will in our life through our prayers. When we're coming to Him, giving Him our burdens. When we're coming to Him and intercessing for others. When we're coming to Him and thanking Him for all that He's done for us being consistent in prayer. And then of course our daily labor as well. When we go to work each day, we can be a blessing to God. We can give honor to God by working to Him for Him and not for man. In order to be a true worship, you have to prepare your heart. Preparing your hearts allows us to focus on true worship with passion and intelligence. This means that we would have an undivided heart or a pure heart. So in Psalms 130 and Psalm 139, 23 and 24, David prayed to God that he would remove anything that would keep him from being a true worshiper. And it's interesting because when I studied this chapter, I actually wanted to do something about the fruitful life. That was what why my activation was. But the Holy Spirit spoke to me and wanted me to do my activation on this scripture. So I am going to do the activation on this scripture. And that will close my study out for this month, for the April study. It's Psalm 139, 23, 24, and I have it recorded, and we'll move, do my activation to that. Thank you. Search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Try me and know my anxious thoughts and see if there be any hurtful way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. God bless you.